Silver prices are up today. So of course that means I have to be searching for silver in rolls of half dollars. I have two boxes here, a thousand dollars worth. Let's go. Hey collectors, thanks for watching. I'm the collector of coins. And that's right, as I said in the introduction, today silver prices are up. And so I was able to get two boxes of half dollars to hunt for my bank. We're gonna be looking for 90% silver, 40% silver, possibly some proof coins, anything worth more than face value. That's right, better than 50 cents each. If you're not yet a subscriber, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, share it with a friend. Maybe you can get them into coin collecting as well or silver stacking, what I like to call the gateway to coin collecting. And please remember to turn on posting notifications so you don't miss out on any video. All right, you know the drill. If you see my channel before, I'm gonna start opening up each roll. I'll wrap them up as I'm moving along so that we can return them to the bank. And if there's anything of value greater than 50 cents, I'll bring you in or if there's something cool to see. Let's get going. All right, well, this is a bit depressing. We've now gone through four boxes, $2,000 worth of half dollars. We haven't found a 40% or a 90% silver. You know, 90% silver is harder to find than a 40%, but I normally find at least one 40% going through typically two or three boxes. So. All right, I'm just going to keep going. Let's see how many boxes it takes to get at least a silver, uh, regardless if it's 40% or not, half dollar. Please keep watching. Let's see how long it takes. I'm not going to drag you into the boring stuff. All right, now we're talking. We got two more boxes of half dollars to hunt. Fingers crossed, right? Let's find some silver. All right, look at this one. All right, this is a clad half dollar. It's not silver. But look at the wear. This might have been a pocket piece. A pocket piece is something, like it's a coin that someone keeps in their pocket and they generally keep rubbing it like this on both sides and it creates a very worn coin. The date is worn off. We do see the one and the nine, but I'm gonna keep this. This is a wild, wild coin in my opinion. Pretty, pretty cool. I don't really see things worn like that. Certainly not the half dollars. Well, another box and no finds. This has been a bad streak. I'm hoping the next box is better. I'm not gonna even say the S word. You know what we're looking for. All right, I hope you keep watching because I hope we also find silver and I don't want you to miss that. All right, well, we got another box open. No silver on the ends, but we're gonna crack open the rolls and we're gonna keep going. Wow, 1964, so this is 90% silver. Uh, I'm in shock. I was not expecting to find it. Uh, when I opened the roll, uh, I saw it, but frankly, I thought it might have been like a modern silver, not uh, not a 64, or might have just been another not issued for circulation. But yeah, I mean, it is it is banged up a bit, but I'll take this silver any day. All right, collectors, I wanted you to see this. This is a clipped planchet. Um, Possibly some post-mint damage as well. I don't believe the clipping was post-mint. Not a huge premium, but pretty cool to see. All right, well, let's get back to hunting right, silver. into roll 17. This looks like a silver find. It actually looks, yeah, here we go. 90% silver. That is awesome. 1964, Philadelphia. 90% silver. We got silver. You gotta love that. What a nice looking coin. Same roll and we have a 1982 out of Philadelphia, which we will check. Well, actually I can see right here. We're gonna look for the no initials. Those are definitely not well struck, but we can still see them. Collectors, here's roll 26 and here's the ender that at the beginning of the video I thought was silver. And it is, we got a 40% silver, pretty nice looking 1965. A Little bit of the ring of death here. Pretty awesome. All right, second silver of the hunt. We got a 90% and now we have a 40%. Roll 39, I thought for a second we had a proof coin given the luster, 
but they did not mint proof coins in Denver in 1972. So this might be just really polished. We'll put it back. Roll 37 delivers us another 40% silver half dollar, 1969 from Denver, making it three silver for the hunt. Epic roll alert, roll 40, looks like we have at least two silver half dollars. Yeah, <laughs> another 1964. This is Philadelphia minted and it is 90% silver. <laughs> and a Franklin a half dollar. Holy cow, 1963. This has been some box. Wow. Unbelievable. All right, collectors. Well, we finished going through all 50 rolls. And what an incredible half dollar hunt, in my opinion. We got three 90% silver. We got two 40% uh, silver. We have three NAFCs and a possible variety find, possible double die, which I'm gonna get a second opinion on. But the highlights are the 1963 Franklin, the two 1964 Roosevelt, 90% silver. Well, collectors, really appreciate you watching. Please give me a, a thumbs up if you like this video. We got more content coming, but as always, happy hey, collecting. One of my coin mats, there's a link down below in the description where you can get it.